So another trick that you can do playing around on your bike is doing the candy bar. Candy bar is when you bring your foot over the handlebar. Pretty simple trick, pretty basic trick, but they do do these tricks in the air when they jump and stuff like that. But we're gonna do a real simple like and just put our foot over the handlebar. Easy, peasy. Actually on this bike, it's a little bit taller. So it's not as easy because I gotta put my foot up a lot higher. Oh my gosh, there we go, candy bar. <clears throat> One more time. Ooh. Candy bar. Now, being that I'm on the 27.5, the bike is a lot taller. Handlebar is a little bit higher up, so it's a little bit harder to get my foot over it. If you're on a 20 inch, a lot simpler. That's the reason why back in the 80s, you had a lot of bikes that had low crossbars, so you can get your feet over them, especially when the candy bar was a, a big trick, like no for the candy bars that people used to do in the air off of vert ramps and off of dirt jumps. So you didn't want to get your foot stuck while you're in midair doing that trick so they had handlebars that was specific for that nowadays you don't really see candy bars anymore you know so a lot of people got their handlebars looking regular they got the regular crossbar not a lot of low crossbars you don't see those a lot anymore except for the uh the harrow lineage master and and uh sport version so you can still get those type of handlebars flatland guys use them a lot because they're doing a lot of tricks where they're putting their foot over the handlebars that's a trick that you can do and it also what happens is if you're able to put your foot over the handlebars you could do another trick and i'm gonna show you that right now Riding right on the handlebars is the next trick that i'm going to show you now there's a couple ways to get into it the basic way to get into riding your handlebars is actually probably the more complicated way to ride your handlebars and that's to take your bike like this stand in front of it run like this hop up and sit on your bars it's a little bit more difficult being that i have a taller bike with me on the 20-inch, it's not as bad, but it is still a complicated way to get into that trick. But I'm going to have to do it now since I told you about it. So you run with it like this. You hop up. Hold the back seat. Hold the seat. And this is your little pose you do when you do it. And then you cop off. The key to doing this trick is holding your seat. You can do it without the seat. A little more difficult doing it that way. But what you want to do is as soon as you get up, you grab the seat. That will keep you balanced and in position. And you can also control your turns and everything when you have your... Hand on your seat. Stand in front of your bike, put your hands on the bars the way you normally would, run forward, hop up, sit on the handlebars, and then grab the seat so that way you can control yourself. If you go a little faster, you'll be able to sit on the bars without grabbing the seat, but you have a lot more control when you have your hands on the seat. Let's try it again. It is a little tricky on this bike though, I gotta admit. See, you grab your seat, and then that way you're able to turn with a little control and then you take your hands off and do it like that. There's several tricks you could do while sitting on your handlebars. The basic one is to ride with your hands on the seat. More advanced is to ride no handed and then you could do lots of different poses which is pretty cool 80 style. And then there's also the scuffing tricks. When you sit on your bars in order to keep your speed going what you do is you scuff your wheels and basically you're just like kicking it forward they call it scuffing so i'll kick my foot forward like that and that'll make me go forward so i'm gonna try and do that trick like that and then what you do is you kick your feet forward to give yourself some speed i'm turning and i kick it some more so i can get some more speed i'm out son then you turn by using your hands on your bars and also on your seat. And I'm kicking it some more. I do my pose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then <laughs> I kick it forward some more. <laughs> uh, uh. It's been a minute, y'all. It's been a minute. Now, the way you get back on is you hop like this and like this. Oh, goodness. And like that. Woo. I don't know if you saw that. What I just did, I don't know, two or three different tricks in one. Sitting on your handlebars, holding your seat. Sitting on your handlebars, no handed. Sitting on your handlebars, holding your seat while scuffing your front wheel to accelerate. And I actually got back on the bike out of the trick while still riding. So I didn't hop off the bike and get on. I actually did it while I was still riding. And I'm gonna show you how to get in and out of it while riding. When I got out of it, what I did was while I was sitting down, held the seat, put my foot over the bars, came back and then brought the other foot over. But first, before I do the get out, I gotta show you how to get in the proper way. And this is the first way to get in. There's another way to get in that I'm not gonna try because I know I can't do it. 
but the uh, first way to do it, I will show you. So what I do is I put my foot against the seat post in the top tube, as you can see. And then what I do here is I stand up like it is. And then after I stand up, I bring my foot over the handlebars like that. After I bring my foot over the handlebars, I sit down like this. And then after I sit down, I grab the seat like this. After I grab the seat, I bring this foot up like this, which is actually another trick. So after I do all of this, I bring my foot forward like this. Then after I bring my foot forward, I actually get in position like this. And here is the trick one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. Now I'm in position. And now I start scuffing so I can get around and show you guys what I'm doing here now. So that's how you get into the sit down position on the handlebars. Good times. I don't really turn to the right much, but I will today. Now to get out, you do the same thing in the reverse. Bring this foot over, hands on the handlebars, Stand up, bring your foot over, bong, bong, bong. Just rewind the tape and you'll see exactly how I did it.